Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a really special house. It is huge, over 5,000 square feet on an acre. We got expansive views, we got a pool. Everything in this house is big. Incredible, incredible woodwork throughout. A lot of tile mosaics placed in, in the home, like in the bathrooms and stuff that's really unique. We got solar photovoltaic, standing seam metal roof. This is a luxury home, just over $3 million. But again, 5,000 plus square feet. You're not seeing this anywhere else on the market. I think you're gonna like this one. Let's check it out. This is listed by Kayla Wall over at eXp. Big thank you to her for letting us bring this to you. I'm Mike Drew, our principal broker, Next to Home Paradise Realty. I'm gonna tell you my three favorite things about the house and the one thing I would change right if this is mine. Let's get going. Okay, everyone, today we are in Kailua View Estates. You can see why it's called Kailua View Estates. Uh, view go, goes all the way into Kailua Town. You can see the cruise ship down there, Pono Kohau Harbor and National Park. We are on a one acre lot. All the lots are in here are a minimum of one acre. There are some that are larger. And uh, yeah, as usual, we're gonna show you the outside and the inside and tell you our free, three favorite things. Uh, this house has a really nice curb appeal. Coming right up to it, you can tell you got some nice landscaping, a nice lava rock wall, standing sea metal roof, fully gutters like the lava rock wall we have here. Wonder what's behind there. You got a nice stained, concrete driveway see we got a mini split system for the AC so certain areas that need air conditioner you can have them on where you need them we're terraced up above as we see with a lot of our homes in here especially if you have an acre there's going to be you know slope and then they you know they cut out the back and then they push it out and they make a nice big flat area like this to build your home uh, okay we see these little red panels over here so we know we got an inverter there. So this tells us we have a solar photovoltaic system on this house. So one thing right off the bat that I like is that the landscaping has uh, come in really nicely. I know this house well, actually, and it looks great. Got some flowers that you can cut, but just like the variation of color and everything that you have here is really nice. One thing I like right here is that we have our two car garage and then we have room to back out and turn around and then go nose down the driveway. Plenty of space for that. You know, it gets a little tight sometimes on these 10, 15,000 square foot lots, uh, especially in neighborhoods where they're saying you can't have the garage face the street. Uh, so you have to have this sort of turnaround. It just makes it tough. When you have an acre, you have the space to make it all happen. You can see we have a pretty high pitch on that roof. Uh, and it is a double pitch roof. We like to see that. That's that Hawaiian plantation style that you see out here. So really like the design cues that we have on that. We have board and batten on the top and then horizontal slats down below. Uh, we've talked about some of these gutter systems where you have the chains going down these buckets. This is really nice. It has these decorative pineapples going down. Some people want to put a pot down there for it to go into, you know, whatever you want to do, go ahead and do it. And then nice entryway tile right inside as soon as you're here you can see the view out and wow more tile inlays down here below look at this stuff looks great with this tile mosaic and then right out there to that view i'll go peek out there a little bit for you but we're going to feature that a little bit later there you go pool and view what else could you want so Let's start off now that we have the light behind us, checking out the entryway and the great room. So really, really nice woodwork, both on all the doors, and you're gonna see that throughout the home. Also on our ceiling up above, we have a beautiful ceiling treatment in there. And then over here on our huge pocket sliders. So we got our you know, window pocket sliders. And then of course you also have your screen pocket sliders. Um, I think most of the time though, I gotta tell you, bugs aren't as bad as people might think here in Hawaii. Most of the time you're just gonna have it wide open like this. I like that they have it on the rail system. We've seen this before. So you have your tiles each individually cut to lay in there. It just makes it so it flows a little bit better visually, combining the outside and the inside. Not that you need to, this home is over 5,000 square feet. Seriously guys, I don't, there's nothing 
nearly this nice, with nearly this square footage, anywhere near this price point. So if you're looking for a value, this might be one for you. Let's check out some of the detail here on these doors. Um, it's coming through like on camera, like that's the grain, but it's actually wavy. Maybe I can get a better angle there. There, now you can kind of see that a little bit. Looks great. And then we have that as our trim and then our baseboards throughout the home. Looks wonderful. So let's come down to the owner's wing. We have a nice little art niche over here and lighted. I like that they have the light up there and then you have this drop on the wall so that the light just sort of glows. You're not seeing the actual bulb. And then this uh, textured gold leaf treatment. That looks great. I like that. Nice touch. Coming down to the end of the hall, we have a storage unit here, just, you know, a closet. So there you go. They got some stuff in there. And then a second living room called a man cave, great room, game room. This thing is big, guys. This is, this is huge. And then, okay, holy cow. So we have these, this beautiful woodwork here on the doors. We got this tiger stripe wood. I can't remember what this is called. I'll try and remember and put it down in the bottom here. If not, someone there can tell me. We have this nice granite around our fireplace with a big screen TV and then check out the built-in on the bookshelves here. Really, really nice. Huge book collection. You can put your books, your DVDs, your displaying, your art, whatever. This room, I'm estimating here, we're 20 by 30, maybe even a little bit bigger. Uh, it is a big room. This is no joke. We got a big built-in along the back as well for more storage. We got outlets down here on the floor so that you can put whatever you need here. I don't know, foosball table, <laughs> air hockey. Um, we got our mini split AC so we can just turn on the air for this room if we need it. And here in our bathroom, there we go. The light comes on, it's motion sensor. We switch to a wood look porcelain tile, single basin sink, toilet, and a shower. Zero threshold on this shower. Not bad considering that this is just a bonus room. So like you really got some flexibility. I'm gonna back out to keep you guys from getting dizzy. More storage there. You really got some flexibility. So you can kind of make this a guest suite if you wanted to. Like you could put a bed over here, a living space. This is really big. You can do a lot. Make it whatever you want, whatever you want. Really nice. Uh, I don't think I mentioned it, but this house has a sound system throughout. Look at all the speakers wired in there. Pretty cool. And then we'll come out and we'll come here into the primary. So a French door entry into our primary bedroom. Let's start over here. We have a closet, wonderful built-in, plenty of space to hang your stuff. Wow. Really, really good. And why well, have one closet when you can have two with another built-in, super awesome on there. You even have a safe. And then your, your main space for your bedroom. This is like 20 by 20. I mean, it's really big. Yeah, this is about thereabouts. Don't hold me to it. Maybe 18 by 20, but something like that. It's really big. That's a king size bed. You can see that it is huge and there's tons of space on either side. We have some nice furniture over here. Two nightstands. We got like eight feet on either side of the bed. Absolutely huge. We got blackout. Oh, these are nice. So they're kind of, this, you know, the vertical blinds when you have, when the wind's coming is a bit of a hassle uh, when it's windy because then they make a lot of noise. There we go, camera's adjusting. Uh, these guys are blackout blinds so that you can make it totally dark in here even when it's light outside. Um, super cool. We got nice crown molding drop down from the top. Pretty cool there. And then I think you guys are going to like this bathroom. So we come through. We have an awesome dual shower setup here. Tile mosaic down on the floor. Little bench in the corner. Faucet on the side. 
shower head and a rain head and then a really nice tile mosaic back here and then we have the same thing on the other side guys so dual shower setup in here really nice I like the tile that they have going around i'm going to back up here for a second so we can take this in a little bit you can see the shape of that really nice and then right behind me i'm trying not to dizzy you guys out here right behind me is privacy door for the toilet we also have a door here in the bathroom walking into the bathroom and then a really, really nice tile mosaic here on this back wall. This is gorgeous. Uh, we have that gold leaf wall in that one recessed area. This isn't like the leaf treatment, but it is a silver, almost like an aluminum look on the back of the wall. And then, of course, this huge freestanding tub. Absolutely gorgeous. Over here on the other side, dual sinks separated, tons of storage, really nice mirrors. Check out the border on these mirrors, the pineapples. Really great. And then there I am today, guys. I think this is a Quicksilver shirt, oh, O'Neill. This is an O'Neill shirt. Just light blue with some blue um, palm trees. And you have an outdoor shower here, guys. So we have a door going out. Wonderful metal work on that. Yeah, that's not painted, guys. That's, that's a piece of metal. It's like, it's really great. And then coming around to our outdoor shower head. So this was that wall that we saw at the beginning of the video when I was in the driveway. I said, hmm, I wonder what's behind that wall. I kind of knew. Um, so that's really cool. So I think we're in pretty good shape so far on this house. I don't know what you think. We still have to check out the kitchen, the other bedrooms, and the pool. And uh, we're going to make our way over there now. Everything in this house is big. Like I said, guys, it's over 5,000 square feet. So you have a lot of space. So coming here into our great room, huge, absolutely huge. Um, <laughs> the view is coming into play there. Camera's taking a second to adjust. There we are. Uh, but now let's talk about this kitchen. Massive. Absolutely huge. If you love rich woodwork, they've done it. Now, a lot of people would have just gone sheetrock down here. Like, who knows, we're just gonna paint it brown. They went the extra mile and did this wood. It looks great. Wood on our cabinets. If you're looking for that resort look with a lot of square footage um, and a pool and a view, I mean, I really, boy, this is, this is gonna have it. We have a massive, absolutely huge pantry. So we got our refrigerator over here. It's a GE. It's got that slate finish or graphite finish uh, with the freezer drawer down below, French door, refrigerator up top, microwave over here. We have this blackened, I guess almost a gold color on our granite with a beautiful tile backsplash. One, two, three, four, five burner GE profile gas. Not much gas out here, guys. So they have that set up with propane. Double ovens, not seeing that as much anymore. You're seeing like oven and microwave. Former owner loved to cook, or I guess current owner, loved to cook and uh, has that in there. And then this, so a double island really is what you got here. So you got an island here in the center, working area, prep sink, garbage disposal on that. And then a second island with seating for, they have it set up for six. You could easily put two more chairs there. You could even easily have seating for eight all around here with your working sink, dishwasher down below, plenty of cabinets. I mean, there is so much storage in here. Everything that you could possibly need, dovetail joints, soft closed doors. That's what you're looking for. Nice deep cabinets. We've got this uh, brushed, uh, I guess it's a bronze with a black on it, but it's got like bronze on the edges that's coming through. Really good job on this kitchen. Lots of space. Oh, over here, I like it when they add these, you know, for cookie sheets, stuff like that. Just those little, those little doors. Pretty cool. And then from here, you can see outside, 
I know the camera's not doing it, but you can see outside to the pool, you can see the view. Let's go over here to the dining room so you can take it in a little bit more and you'll be able to see that view as it comes through. This huge, huge window lets in a ton of light and ample space. They have an eight person table and it's not a small eight person table, it's substantial. So lots of space here, nice ceiling fan, ceiling treatment, recessed lights. And you know, we have those great, we have great cabinets over here. We have a great built-in over here. Uh, lots of awesome, awesome woodwork on this one, guys. This is a great home. Um, oh, I can see we have an in-house vacuum system. You see that down there? Yep, really nice. Let's come over here. <laughs> Got a couple bedrooms to check out. We'll call this bedroom number two. Actually, we'll call it bedroom number three because number two is better. We're gonna rank them, right? So we had our primary. I have another bedroom. This is still, gosh, 20, maybe 18 by 14. Really big, king size bed there. I've got eight feet, seven feet on this side, seven on the other side. Really, really big. Uh, we got our own mini split AC system, ceiling fan, closet with the built in, and ensuite bathroom. This is the same tile that we saw in that other bathroom over in the uh, uh, man cave, entertainment room, game room. So nice ensuite bathroom there, huge space. And then I'm going to walk over, check out this is what I'm going to call bedroom number two. Again, huge, big rooms. If you, listen, I know a lot of you guys see these homes in Hawaii, you freak out at the prices, understandably so, um, but you don't see a lot of big homes, you don't see a lot of big rooms, this one does have it. So if you're gonna have a high price and you want a big mainland sized home, <laughs> you got it on this one. More built-ins here in this closet, and then into this bathroom, is it like, yep, it's like the other ones where you have the motion detector so when you walk in it comes in. Hammered copper sink, I like it, dual basin. So this is a second primary, that's what this is, guys. Um, and then, I think this is a wallpaper? No, I think this is custom done. Really looks good, super cool, one of a kind. And then you come through, have our toilet over here, and then zero threshold entry into our shower. I like this sort of uh, iridescent opal look on our back wall. Love it. Tile goes all the way up to the ceiling. Good job on that. So that's bedroom, this is bedroom number two. The other one was bedroom number three. Kitchen, dining, and I think I still have to show you something else. Let's go back here over to the front of the, yeah, over here to the front door. Still gotta come down this way. We have another bathroom, hammered aluminum sink. That's really nice looking. I like that. Got a light green color here on the wall, kind of a sea foam. And then each, I'm noticing each room has a texture color look on one wall. Uh, I think that, there you go, that texture is coming out there. Looks really good. Wood trim around the windows. I haven't even talked about the quality of the windows here. These are the ones, I'm not gonna do it right. Let's see, you open that and then you do this and then you spin that and you open it up and you got lots of airflow. So we're not talking cheap aluminum, no name windows. Um, so good job on that. Spinning, technically bedroom number four. Um, you could use it as an office bedroom, workout room, whatever you want. Uh, it has its own mini split AC system in there, dual closets, great. And then over here, washer dryer, utility area, all the way here to our garage. And, oh, interesting. So it's a two car garage, but three cars worth of space. So you got your two garage doors over here. <coughs> Pardon me guys, talking a little too much today but then you have all this extra area, workshop, storage, whatever you need. So that's a nice bonus. Oh, also there was a 
service door going out to that side yard. So that's really cool. And then I think I've teased you guys long enough. Let's go spend some time outside looking at the pool and the view and finishing up your tour. So excellent size on our covered lanai's, recessed lights, dual ceiling fans up here, and then television, sink, beverage cooler, storage. So this, you know, you could easily put like a dining room table in one section and a giant sectional outdoor lounge. What's that brand, Sunshade or sun something uh, over here? Lots of space for that. We then transition from our tile. We have a drain line and then we're out here uh, looking at our stained concrete decking. Like everything in this house, huge spa. Like, let me look at this thing here. You could easily fit five people, six people. I'd say five, comfortably five. Three or four more right here, five more on this side. So, you know, hey, if that's how you party. You got the spot for it right here. Um, I like the work that they've done over here. And we have our uh, red and black cinder and little pavers, which is nice. Ginormous view, gas tiki torches, so you can fire those up at night. It'll look great. And so we have a entry into our pool, like a ladder coming out right here. You have a tile mosaic in the bottom, nice deep pool, colored plaster, large sun deck. Oh, I haven't seen this in a bit. Check it out, guys. So we have our large sun deck with a table right there. So guys, you could just be sitting there in the water, have your drinks and your food right in the pool. Where are you gonna do that? I like that they use the turf, artificial turf over here. It doesn't get more low maintenance than that. Check out the work over here. I mean, there's a lot of things on this house, guys. Don't sleep on this one. I like that turtle. Um, we have a really great setup here. All right. Time for my three favorite things. And the one thing I would change or add if this was mine. Favorite thing number one. Guys, I don't say this often about homes listed over $3 million, but this is a value play. At over 5,000 square feet, you're not seeing this anywhere else on the market. So if you're someone who's looking for a nice home, a big home uh, with a little bit of space, an acre, and you want some size, uh, this has got to be on your list. A um, little surprise it's still available to be completely candid. Number two is going to be the woodwork on this one. From the ceiling to the built-ins, don't sleep on that, uh, to the kitchen, Absolutely outstanding woodwork throughout here. I didn't even talk about these gorgeous Ohia posts that we have on either side here. Um, pretty cool. Favorite thing number three is going to be, it's gonna also, I guess, tie into number one, the size of that primary suite. Two closets, a huge uh, shower, dual showers, the bathtub, the outdoor shower, like the 20 by 20 space that you had there in that bedroom. Absolutely awesome. One thing I would change or add, I don't know, man. I mean, I guess you could, I mean, you got a grill here. You got the black sun. I guess you could make it a built-in, you know, put that over there somewhere. You got some, you got the gas lines here. Maybe put a permanent one, I guess, over there or over there. Um, I guess, like, it's not like you need it to enjoy this property though. So super, super cool. All right. I hope you like this video. I got more for you in the corner. See you again real soon.